Hello, fellow viewers, watchers of Big Sky on NBC. Um, so it is official. They are going to have a season two. Will you be watching? I just saw that announced. It was like announced like two days ago. And if you follow any of the cast, the only person from the cast I follow is uh, Kylie Bunbury, who plays Cassie. And here she is, and they're celebrating. And she says, we're stoked because we just got confirmed for season two. So I just want to show you that little picture. I have a couple of pictures I want to show today. A little show and tell. A little show and tell because there were some, there were some moments that I just, I just need to talk about. It was just <laughs> the facial expressions that some of these people were pulling were too funny. Um, anyway, so <laughs> will you be watching? Will you be watching season two? Because a lot of people say they won't be. I don't know either. I, I really don't know. That depends on how they end the season. I mean, I really, do, I really don't know. I'm, I'm bad for that. I'm bad for watching the first season and then never touching it again. I'm someone who does that. So <laughs> I may never touch the show again after the season finale. If they don't catch Ronald at the end of the season, I will be so pissed off. I definitely won't watch. And even if they do, I still probably, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Let's see. Um, Let's just start off with the thing that made me mad immediately. I was like, are they joking? They killed Angela before she could spill any information. Because I feel like they don't know how to really lead out the little clues and make you keep you interested. So they like try to hold things to the last moment. And so they're like, oh, we can't have her tell anything important. So we'll just kill her. And I'm just like, how would they be in the same place right next to each other, diving in the same exact direction at the same exact time. But Jenny walks away with a tiny little splotch on, of blood on her forehead. And then Angela's dead. And how is that? And then Rand, of course it was Rand. We already knew it was Rand who drove through, okay? I'm done. I, I'm over it. I'm over it. Um, how did, and then, okay, skipping straight to the end. We're not going in chronological order, obviously. How did Ronald end up at the Iron Cross Ranch, which is the K family ranch? How did he end up there? How did he find that place? How did he just happen upon that? Because remember, they come, they circle, somebody is circling around the ranch and they see, they're like, oh, we have a problem. Somebody's here. You know, I'm just like, girl, get out of my face. And then I'm like, okay, theory, long lost cousin. Eh? Eh? I don't know. Who knows? Um, <laughs> I just was like, and then I'm like under my bullet point for Jenny. My first thing was how the F could she not hold on to the paper? How could she not hold on to the freaking paper? She should have had it refolded. And didn't she refold it? I would have to go back and rewatch the episode. I'm not, I'm not about to do that. So let's just move on. And, and, and how did the sheriff get it? Out of all of the rubble and a dead body, he sees the little sheet of paper first. And I'm just like, and he knows to hide the sheet of paper first. What? How does this make sense? This show, you know, it's my fault. I mean, we're watching it. <laughs> and can we talk about Cole? Speaking of not going in chronological order. So Cole is the missing ranch hand who got killed by the K family, the client, the client sassers. His mom called the client sassers white trash. <laughs> That's it. I just wanted to mention that. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Y'all keep calling them the MAGA Duck Dynasty family in the comments. <laughs> anyway, speaking of, speaking of our favorite white trash family, um, Cheyenne, shut that, shut the fuck up. That's what I keep thinking. <laughs> I'm trying not to cuss y'all out every, every video, but shut the fuck up, Cheyenne. You're not bad. You don't do anything. All she does is walk around and threaten her brothers. That's what she did this entire episode. And then, so when she first comes out, the for her first appearance in the episode is in the back of the sheriff's, the back of the sheriff's uh, little car. And she's like, oh, you surprised to see me here? You know, us women, we're so annoying the way we're running corporations and maybe ranches. I'm like, Cheyenne, shut up. No one is proud of you. You're not a feminist icon. You're a bad person. You threw your brother's dead body off a cliff. Like, no one is celebrating you. Shut up. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know us women being so pesky and rebellious. Like, shut Shut up. God, that made me 
being so irritated. <laughs> I was like, girl, if you don't shut your stupid mouth. <laughs> when she said, when she said multinational corporation, I'm like, be quiet. Like you're not, see, this is what they call, this is what they call white feminism, where all they care about is making money and they don't care about any of the morals. <laughs> they just like, We're, I'm going to be as corrupt as a man. Hashtag feminism, hashtag girl boss. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out. Okay. And then why is she snitching to her mom? Just to stir the pot. Just to stir the pot. Just to stir the pot and make everyone upset. That's all she does. All she does is walk around and make her brothers upset. And that's like, mm, job done. You know, like, you didn't, you're not accomplishing anything. They're not letting you in on any of the plans. They're not trying to confide in you. They're not asking for your help. You're just like, well, one of these days you're going to need my help. Mm. And then they, like, are like, go away. <laughs> That's all she does. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> when she was bullying, okay, I do like the part where she was bullying Rand. <laughs> when she was bullying him in the kitchen, she's like, <laughs> you don't have to do everything he tells you to do. Psycho killer. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's before your brother's funeral and you're bullying your other brother. I really cannot with this family. And then how much did you love? This is what I'm saying. This stuff is funny. How much did you love it when the dad was hitting them with the stick? Why did you do that? <laughs> I was like, this is hysterical. This family is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, and then <laughs> I said I was low-key low glad to see them hitting with the stick. Okay, and then the empty barrels. Well, we find out what the empty barrels are. They're dumping waste. They're polluting everything. They're ruining society and the environment at large. Um, it's kind of a vague plot, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> when you found that out, did you care? I mean, I cared, but I'm like, the part of the plot, I keep saying this, the part of the plot I'm most invested in is get Ronald and his stupid self. I hate him. I'm just waiting for them to arrest Ronald. That's it. That's all I'm wanting out of this show so far. And I'm like finding out that they're like dumping things and, you know, like they're sneaking around, destroying the environment, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, what's new? Corporation's been doing that, sis. Okay. Like what's the, t oh, okay. All right. Okay. And like, <laughs> they're trying to make it interesting, but let's, let's move on to the mom. Cause the mom had a big role this episode. I, my eye is watering, just destroying my video. Um, <laughs> So she said he's too mean to die. So she, he, she has tried to poison her husband before, which is a healthy conflict re resolution choice. Good for you. That is the right way to do that. <laughs> That's the right way to handle a fight with your husband. Poison his food. Yeah. <laughs> so she, and he, and he lived. And I'm like, you probably just didn't put that much, but <laughs> it's supposed to be like this emblematic story of like, He's so evil. He can't be killed. He's so vile and full of poison. He can't be killed. <laughs> He's too mean to die. And I'm just like, okay, girl. Okay. And um, <laughs> then, and then one of y'all in the comments predicted that the mom was going to try to poison him. It was in the past tense, but you did predict that she's the type who... Some, I think that the comment said... She's the type to start with spit and then move on to arsenic. <laughs> it was rat poisoning, so you were close. Um, there, the the interaction between the mom and the dad of the client's assers. Uh, I mean, it was a little juicy. It was like a little, I was like a little like, ooh, mm, uh, your dog meat, ooh, ooh, I'm going to kill you, ooh, ooh. Like, you know, the little banter, I was like, okay, I was kind of into it. But in a part of me, I was like, eh, you know, like, I can feel like, I'm feeling like it's filler. The part that I really wanted to get to, of course, is Ronald, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, JW's face. Now, this is where I have to show y'all a picture of JW and his stupid self when he hit them, when they were digging the brother's grave. <laughs> yes, I took a picture of my TV because I'm not technologically advanced. Everyone leave me alone. But when he's making this face, I don't know if y'all have heard of McKamey Manor. So this is the part where the brother is talking about how he wants to make a maze, like a scary 
maze where he's going to actually like <laughs> freak people out and attack people basically. And he's like, I want there to be rats, not rats. <laughs> what are, I keep thinking about rats. I want there to be snakes and bears and you know, like bears, babe, bears. And I want to grab them and I want them to really think they're going to die. I could see that all day. And he makes, he makes this stupid face. Hold on. Let me show it again. And he's like, I could, I could look at people scared to die all day. And then he's looking at his brother like this. And I'm like, yeah, he's a crazy person. You are keeping a crazy person from getting help and being put away like he should be put away. That's what you're up to, JW. <laughs> Dummy. Like, yes, he's sick in the head. He's crazy. You know that boy is crazy. Everybody knows he's crazy. So don't be looking at him like that. And then he's patting him on the head. Okay, let's just go keep digging. And I'm like, stop patting him on the head. He's a sociopath. Sociopaths don't get head pats where I'm from, okay? No. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. Um, <laughs> and then in the end, <laughs> with that picture, okay, the last thing about, <laughs> excuse me, the last thing about the uh, Klein Sasser family, Margaret's like, I want to go to Paris. <laughs> what? <laughs> she could have been ran away to Paris. She could have been gone to Paris. And... Like, like, anyway, um, and she, she forces them to put that creepy picture up on the wall. I didn't get a shot of that picture. I was like, who cares? I'm moving on. Let's move on. I'm Horst. His first name is Horst, which is the last name in my opinion, but his first name is Horst. He's trying, the, the father is trying to keep control. He keeps holding court. He keeps lecturing everybody. You're, yeah, he keeps threatening people. He keeps hitting people with his cane. I'm like, girl, just shut up. Just shut your stupid ass up. That's how I feel about Horace. I'm like, he's going to go down. Let me know if you think he's going to make it to the end of the season. I just don't see him living next season. I just can't see him living. I see somebody in his family killing him by next season. That's just me. Um, let's talk about dumbass Ronald that I hate. I hate him so much. I hate him so much, ladies and gentlemen. I hate Ronald so bad. Let's talk about Ronald and taking them... And dumbass Scarlet, letting him take her and her daughter into the middle of the woods with no service. She really needs, she really needs to get out more. She really needs some excitement in her life. Because she was like, okay, we're, okay, you're going to make us go in the middle of the uh, night to the middle of the woods? Okay, uh, let's pack up, darling. We're going to wake up and we're going to watch eagles. <laughs> like, shut up. You're so stupid. She's so dumb. And like, is she so she's just so dumb. And then, like, she's, I'm, I'm telling you, she's looking for an excuse to kill. I think she wants to kill Ronald. I think she wants to kill him. I think she's looking for an excuse to be with someone crazy to kill again. Either she's going to kill Ronald or they're going to kill someone together and hide the body. I swear to God. And I think she knows partly what he's up to. Let's talk about when she almost catches him moving the body. Again, I have to show a picture of this stupid, dumb face. His stupid, dumb face. Who? Who? <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done with Ronald. I'm so done with him. I am ready. I'm ready for him to go to jail and get the death sentence. I'm, I know that sounds bad. And I know we're supposed to be anti-capital punishment, but maybe for a fictional character, we could bring it back. Okay. And then, do they not smell the rotting dead body below them? Because she's been dead for like a day or so now. She would be stinking, okay? Like, <laughs> she would be stinking, even if it's cold. She would be stinking, especially if she's still leaking. If she's warm enough to be leaking and oozing blood still, they would have been smelling that girl. I'm done. I'm finished. Um, he has he has magical plastic wrap that holds an odor. They need what trash bags is he using? Because we need that. I need that for my kitchen. I need that magical trash bag, okay? Um, his, Ronald is so stupid. His storyline <laughs> makes no sense. His storyline should have been him hiding in a cabin somewhere. That's the only way his storyline makes sense. His storyline makes no sense. If he was hiding out in a cabin, oh, my light just went out. <laughs> my light just was like, girl, you're taking too long. <laughs> if he was hiding out in a cabin, hold on, let me turn like this to get some more light. If he was hiding in a cabin and she was in some remote place with no 
Wi-Fi or TV, I'd be like, okay, I believe it. But I just do not believe, I just do not believe the whole, his whole storyline. The plot hole is too big. She should know the whole time. Not only that, he has some sort of job or something. People all, everybody should know. Every People should have been reporting him every day, seeing him all the time. But you know what? In the 70s, that's what happened with uh, Ted Bundy. People were reporting him. People were seeing him everywhere. But like, they wouldn't, they wouldn't arrest him. They're like, oh no, he's educated in Caucasian. We're not going to arrest him for both of the murders. That just don't make sense. He don't fit the profile. <laughs> Like, I'm done. I'm done. And, okay, the last point. Detect the detective guy and Jerry eating the Girl Scout cookies. What the fuck? And then the chit-chatting in the car, a little bit bonding. He's like, be careful. This job will choose you if you don't want to choose it or something. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then what else? The end, they got caught looking for evidence. Y'all were saying, y'all have been saying in the comments that they're not good at their job. Because they always get caught. <laughs> Look, they get caught. They get, they miss things. Yeah. So here they are being good at their job yet again and getting caught. Look at my plants. They're drooping. <laughs> okay. That's all. Tell me what you think.